spent the day trying to figure out where I wanted to go fishing. And there's one place I know of where the fishing, the bite is on and the fish are quality fish. It's probably the only place in this city where your chances of catching something over five pounds are pretty good. It's not even technically in this city though. It's kind of far. It's just outside of town. And I've been going there a lot lately. I don't want to keep fishing the same places over and over. You guys don't want to see videos at the same places over and over. And uh, on top of that, I don't drive the most fuel efficient vehicle on the market. It's kind of expensive for me to go out there all the time. So um, I was trying to figure out where to go. I wanted somewhere close by. And I was thinking of the last time I caught a decent fish anywhere. And then it dawned on me, it, today is Monday. Everybody always tells me golf courses are closed on Mondays. The last decent fish I caught was out of a creek that runs through this golf course. Of course, I got kicked out because it wasn't Monday. So I came out here today thinking, you know, it's gonna be closed, today's Monday. And I have never seen so many people before at, the, at any golf course. There's so many people playing golf right now. It's clearly not closed, but I'm gonna, work my way down the creek anyway get to a couple of spots I wanted to check out see if it's worthwhile but uh, this is why it's important to do your research before you try to do anything because uh, golf courses are clearly open on Mondays all right this is where I was last time I caught a half decent bass uh, up ahead is where I want to be, but there's already a bunch of people over there playing golf, so. I actually just saw bass swim by right now. Oh, come on. Okay, I think, yep, I got him. Oh, he swam into the mat there. This is, oh, that's a little better than I thought he was gonna be. Oh, come on. There we go. Kind of a funky upper lip on him there. Get something for Instagram. Come on. No, I mean it's not a, not the biggest bass ever, but I'll gladly take it. And there he goes that way. All right, I'm just. See if there's any more bass up in this little channel here oh whoa huh. something grabbed it and ran with it instantly but pulled the rod pretty hard too but i don't think it was a bass if it was it's a very small one i think there's sunfish there big sunfish oh oh yep it's a sunfish come on stop That one finned me a couple of times there. I'm hiding over here in the tall grass. Golf course is right up there. The people down that way. I'm trying to make my way this way without being seen. I might not be able to step on this stuff. Looks like I have to go up on the grass, on the golf course itself to get around.
see what happens here. It's kind of hunched over here. Somebody just pulled up on me. I'm gonna move. See, this here used to be the old golf cart trail, but it's been washed out and covered up. So now I'm going this way. Hopefully there's somewhere I can hide up in here. Really nice looking spot up ahead. Some big cichlids and stuff right here in this little stretch. No water in it, but I see the clubhouse up there. It's not the way I want to be going. The closer to the clubhouse I am, the quicker they are to catch me. Oh, oh, pull it right off the hook. That's not good. I wanted to be quick in and out right here. There's uh, definitely there's something hanging out under the bridge here. There we go. That's that's not a, not as big as the one earlier, but it's there. Felt like he was pulling a little harder than that one from earlier. Oh, come on. I don't know if it's gonna be if it's gonna get off or not, but it's it's actually swimming my direction so I can't oh that's a nice one. Yes. Not that not as nice as I thought it was. For some reason whenever you're high up like this, they always look bigger. That's about a pound, pound and a half maybe. There we go. That's exactly where I wanted that to be. I know I'm gonna get a bite. Yep, there's a bite. Got him. Whoa, what do I got? Cause it's spinning around like crazy. What? That is a giant bluegill. No, well that's not giant, but that's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was a little bass. Good bluegill. Whoa. My record I just looked down and saw a big silver flash like a fish turned sideways and disappeared right there. That was definitely bigger than anything I've caught over here so far. He's running with it. Oh my god, he pulled it off the hook. No, he pulled off he pulled the hook off too. Damn. You went right through the line on that. Oh, whoa. Oh. Yes, that's a good bass. This is the biggest one of the day so far. Easily two pounds. Oh, and he snapped off too. What the hell's going on with this? Fought the hardest for sure. Might not be as long as that first one though. But there we go. There we go. Whoa. That's 
about what I just said. The bigger ones are right there in that deep spot. This isn't that big, but you just shook off my bait again. This is the one I lost earlier that snapped off on me because he's got my hook in his mouth. That's the one that snapped off earlier. And then where'd my other hook go? He just snapped off on me again. But I don't see my hook in there. Must have fell out. It was in his lip. It must have fell out when I pulled the other one out right now. But yeah, there we go. Well, I got my bait back and I was able to get the hook out of this one. So smart fish biting twice. He's going off under the bridge. All right, I don't remember what kind of line I have on this reel. It's old line, and it's already snapped off on me three times. And then that same fish that broke off, he, he bit, he was hooked, he broke off. He bit again just a few minutes later. He actually snapped me off again, but I was able to get both hooks out of him this time. Well, one hook for sure. I don't. The other hook just. I think it just fell out because it was through the lip, and when he, he snapped off again, I think it just came the rest of the way out. And, but yeah, whatever kind of line this is, I don't remember what kind of line I put on here. It's definitely not trilene. But it didn't snap it off. Like, you know, you always see PETA and all the animal rights people saying that catch and release fishing traumatizes the fish and they won't be able to eat again for days. Well, I just had the same fish twice within a matter of minutes. So none of what they say is true. All right, well, I mean, I'm doing pretty good so far today. I'm getting plenty of bites, especially since I got up here into this little stretch, just stacked with bass. And that's good to know because these are the bass that are gonna populate the creek downstream that didn't seem to have any bass in it lately. And these are right at breeding size, spawning size. So that's, that's good news. Oh, there's a bite. There we go. Oh, that's not a bad one. I think he shook me off again too. Yeah. When I say not a bad one, I mean for this area, clearly, because So, I mean, it's really a small, tiny little bass, but I mean, I'm happy with anything. And uh, bass in this town don't seem to get very big. I did a commercial for a power catch bass crusher swim baits, and I caught one when I pulled it up. I guessed it was going to be four pounds, but it actually came out to be like three, just under three and a half. And I got eviscerated on their on their comments and stuff because I'm such an idiot that there's no way it could have been a four pounder. It's like, I wasn't off by that much. It was a guess. I put it on a scale. It's a 22 inch bass, you know? And people are tearing me up saying it's gotta be a two pounder or something. And you know, if you go and watch the tournament video I did, that bass was longer than anybody else's bass that was caught in that tournament. And you know, my buddy Josh there caught one on camera right in front of me. It was 21 inches and it was five and a half pounds. So I catch one in 22, 22 inches and I guess that it's going to be four pounds and people are calling me an idiot. So yeah, when I waited, it was only, it was like three, just under three and a half. So, I mean, that, that's like the only place in the city where the bass get decent size, you know, other than the big lakes that you got to pay to get in. But still i mean when you catch a two pounder around here it's a that's a good fish i'd really like to get one more fish here but it seems like the bite has died down oh oh man that one i don't know if you saw that if i was even facing the right direction but that looked like the biggest one so far looked like the biggest one so far i don't know if it was but it came off the bottom and grabbed this thing at the surface, top water. I'll get that back over there in that same area. I don't know how that happened, but it got tangled up on my fingers. See, the balance on this thing is so bad that you can't hold it like a normal casting rod or a normal rod cast. 
So I'm holding it up here and the line keeps getting tangled up in my fingers. So let me try this again. I cast out and then I can move my hand. Got it, got it. it oh, he slipped off. That wasn't the same one I just saw though. This one doesn't have any barbs on it, on this hook. So they're gonna slip off on it. I've used this hook for a while. I think I broke the barbs off to get one. Last time, get one free. Yeah, doing pretty good so far. <laughs> so I was about to leave and then I had two blow ups on it. One of them I lost because there's no barb on the hook. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Came up the last second and grabbed that. track of how many bass I've caught already today but this spot here really paid off so far but the longer I'm here the more more I'm pushing my luck so I don't want to be here too much longer <laughs> 